Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine, if you're new here. If you are not new here, then welcome back. But, it's been a hot minute, I know. I have gotten a little sidetracked from the YouTube thing. I've been posting more frequently on Instagram, doing more mini tutorials on there. Um, it takes like three times as long to edit a YouTube video. Um, I'm nearing the end of school, so hopefully once that is, we will get back on track with the once a week, um, maybe even twice a week videos. So, hopefully we'll be back on with that soon. But, today's video is very exciting. I am testing out the new Jawbreaker palette and the Supreme Frost in Diamond Wet, which is this pixie dust you see on my face. But if you want to see how I did this look and what I think about this palette, then just keep watching. But before you do so, hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, so I normally don't think I've been doing my brows on camera, but today, um, just because I feel like it, we're going to do my brows on camera. Um, I'm going to be starting with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This one is in medium brown, and then for my brush, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star and Morphe Brush Collab. This is the eyebrow brush. <clears throat> now going in to clean them up I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and I'm going to clean my brows up with it and then I'm going to apply that all over to the lid to prime. All right, so here is the fun part. So for today's video, which you would already know by the title, we are jumping into none other than the Jawbreaker palette. I got the big one. I didn't get the mini one because um, I knew for sure I wanted the big one, but I couldn't decide on the small one. So maybe soon I'll get the small one. Um, this is what it looks like outside of the packaging. This palette is huge. Um, this is it compared to the Thirsty palette. So, pretty big difference. Now, for the inside, we're going to go ahead and open her up. Super pretty. So, I'm thinking. I want to do like a pink kind of look, um, but I really don't know for sure because all of these colors I just want to put all on my face right now, but I can do multiple videos. Um, I'm going to swatch a couple, so I'm going to swatch Snack, which is a pink shimmer. Cotton candy. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Um, let's swatch Wow, which is the yellow. This is probably one of the colors I was most excited for. Let's go right here. And then we'll do Gumdrop, which is this purple. Oh, that's so pretty. 
So the first color I think I'm going to go in with is Cherry Wet, which is this one right here. I have no clue what I'm going to do today, but we will get through this. So I think we're going to go for a really pink look today. So I'm going to go in with the color, I'm going to spell it, so this is PG-13 kind of. Um, we're going to go in with this color right here and it is called F-U-C-K. Now I'm going to go back in with Cherry Wet to kind of build back up that pigment. And then I think I'm going to go in with Raspberry just to kind of give some more dimension. Now going back in with F-U-C-K and we're going to pop that on. I'm going to take bubble gum which is this pink right here and I'm just going to buff that into the very very top. go and clean up underneath, clean up around here, and then I'm going to probably do a cut crease and then I will be back. Okay, so now I have the cut crease shape cut out. Um, I'm thinking we should do like a shimmer all over the lid and then like a wing. But I'm thinking the wing with the purple, the gumdrop color. So I'm going to go ahead and do the wing first. I'm going to go in with a little uh, flat brush like this to do out. And then I'm taking Gumdrop, which is the purple, and I'm going to stamp the color on until I have the shape I want. And it can be messy because you're going to take like a wipe or a q-tip and clean up underneath. Yeah. Taking a angled brush kind of like this one. I'm going to go in with the color Snack, this pink shimmer, and I'm going to line the whole inside where I didn't put the purple with that. Okay, so actually I think I'm going to do Snack on the inner portion and then do the rest in cotton candy. to do the other eye off camera then throw some mascara and lashes on and then I will be back. So since it's impossible for me to do a look without adding any glitter 
I'm going in with this NYX liquid crystal liner and going over the outline of the cut crease. Okay, so moving on to our face, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer um, just to prime. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Up to 24 Hour Foundation. This one is in 312 Golden Door. Now for a concealer, I'm going in with the Magic Star Concealer, also by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This one is in C10. For contour, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Double Ended Contour Stick. This one is in medium tan. I'm going to spray my sponge with some of the dewy set. Um, then I'm just going to go in and press everything in so everything looks nice and seamless. I'm blending out the nose. I'm going in with the Magic Star Setting Powder. This one is in Fair. I probably need a different like shade of this. This one's really light on me, but it'll do for now. Now for bronzer, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer, and I'm just going For blush, I'm going in with the Coco Collection by Kylie. Um, I'm using Hollywood Boulevard for the blush. And then mixing that with a little bit of the Tarte Quirky Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And that same bronzer and the same brush I used to blend out the contour. I'm going to go in and use that. Under eye, I'm going to go in with raspberry and then cherry wet, 
and then blend it out with F-U-C-K and bubble gum. And then I'm thinking we're going to do gumdrop on the waterline. And now for the part I have been waiting for the entire time, all day today since I got this. So I bought one of the Supreme Frost from the Jawbreaker collection. This one is Diamond Wet. Okay, are y'all ready for this? Look at that. I'm going to open it. I don't even want to swatch this. It's so pretty. Okay. I'm going to do it. Oh my god. Ooh. Alright, I'm going to swatch it. I can't wait to put this on my face. Alright. So I've never tried any of his Supreme Frost. Um, I have one of his highlighter palettes. Um, it is, I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head, but I do have one of his highlighter palettes and I love it. One of my favorite shades from that is the, well, I'm drawing a blank too. Um, I can't think of what my favorite color is on that one. I'll get back to you with that. But anyways, back to this. What is... Hmm. Okay. I can't wait. So I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and just pop it on my nose. Oh my god. This is like glitter. OMG. Okay, we're going to put some in my inner corner too. Look at that. Just bumped it at 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to swirl around. Alright, let's pop her on. try going in with my finger. So this is kind of like a more glittery kind of formula. And it still is a This kind of reminds me of what the, I feel like the Fenty Diamond Dust one looks like. But look. I can't see the monitor, so hopefully it's showing really nice. Alright, we'll do the other side now. Alright, so this is the finished look from today's video. I am in love with this highlighter. It's just like pixie dust all over my face. I love it. Um, the palette. The shadows I used today I really like. Um, I don't really have any complaints on the shadows I used. Um, the only thing I would say was Cherry Wet and F-U-C-K kind of blended into the same color. But the good thing about these is they didn't like pick up one another. I find that like pink or red, usually when they're layered, they pick up so they turn kind of blotchy or patchy. Um, these did not do that, so I'm very, very impressed with these. Um, I cannot wait to do more this palette has kind of created some like creative spark in my head 
if you will. Um, so I can't wait to get more of these colors on my face, um, see what kind of things I can do with it. Um, so I highly recommend, if they still have it in stock, I would snag one. Uh, if they don't have it in stock, I am sorry, but get it when they relaunch or restock, whatever you want to call it. But all in all, I'm very happy with the palette and the highlighter, and I cannot wait to get more from this collection. Um, hopefully soon I'll be able to snag a couple more items, maybe a lippy or something. Um, but I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had fun creating this look and rubbing this beautiful highlighter all over my face. Um, so if you liked it and you like this look, don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. Bye!